Did you know that the official mix, the official release has 1.3 million views in YouTube? This is such a beautiful song. And let's see if we could get it to sound uh, like the official mix or maybe close to it. Or maybe we don't even do a good job. But stay tuned throughout the mix series and we'll see at the end uh, how we end up. Hopefully it'll be good and we're all pleased with the final mix. And hey, maybe I can get the author to release the multi-tracks to everyone. I'm George from Houston, Texas. Start auditioning the, the tracks in Studio One and see what they sound like. Let's see what this is. This is a pad. Should we get the volume up? Looks like a um, swell, maybe. All right, that's nice. Let's see what this is. Some texture, nice. I love it. Let's go to the scent lead. Nice, nice instrument. This is some brass. Let's see what that's doing. Okay, just doubling up the, the lead line or some arpeggiated um, synths here. Nice. And some other effects stuff. Okay, there's a um, timpani or something. Let's see what this is. Okay, that's part of the beginning of the song. All right. Um, and really, I should have those separate from the rest of the, the keys. Maybe like special effects or whatever. Love that one. See this one? Nice. All right, and it looks like the keys. See, they, um, I like that. The keys actually have uh, leading with the melody. The voicings are uh, with the melody on top. Man, I just love that song so much. But let's get rid of some of these um, effects. Not get rid of them, but I'm going to put them elsewhere. I don't want to mix them with the uh, pads. What did I do with it? Okay. I'm just going to grab all these and bring them up. Oh, I hate it when that happens. I'm going to grab all of these and bring them up to the top somewhere. Okay. All right. I'm going to bring them over here with these effects. Um, let's see. Yeah, so this uh, this should all be all together. FX. Did I move this track? I sure did, didn't I? And then this is some. Um, so this is all effects. We're going to keep this one color. Keep it simple. 
and um, but we're not dealing with any of these right now and these are percussions okay um, I guess I should get to percussions at some point drum kit and then guitars acoustics and back to our pads here all right so let's see if we can get a quick mix of just the pads um, let's um, uh, I don't have any buses or anything like that so let's let's get something going here but let me bring all these down alrighty then and I'm going to actually do a VCA fader for now a VCA for selected channels and um, I'm also going to do a bus so I'm going to select all of the tracks and uh, right click add bus for selected tracks for selected channels and then as it's usual I'm going to add a stem track so let's call this K bus and then this one I'm going to send it to I'm going to add a bus for selected channel and I'm going to call that K stem and I'm going to put this one all with my stems there so it's so it aligns but make this white I like it hit save so I got my K bus and this is sending to my keyboard stem let's solo it it's probably loud yep sorry let's bring this VCA down all right um, let me bring this down um, bring these levels down without messing with the VCA and then I'm gonna start one by one let's see what I can get out of this So I've got some decisions to make here because there's a lot of um, different things going on. So I need to do some panning. Otherwise, I'm going to have, um, well, I know this is a stereo track, but it doesn't mean I can't pan it to the left or right. Um, let's, uh, let's see this one. I'm going to pan this one to the right, all the way to the right. And let's take this one. I'm going to pan this one all the way to the left. And this one okay this one right not all the way and I'm just making these random decisions based on what I what I'm hearing I'm just trying to fill the the space so it just sounds wider and I don't want it to be all centered because then it's gonna be uh, very muddy I like all the low stuff to the left always. All right, let's see what this bad boy does. So let's send that, um, send that a little bit to the right because it's a lead. So that's how I usually approach leads most of the time. And this brass, I forgot if it was. Let's move this one to the left a little bit. The key, the arpeggiated stuff. That one's already pretty stereo. Um, I don't know that I would do anything by panning. All I like that there. The belt synths. Let's see here. Let's go all the way right. Let's see what this one. Left. 
It's a lot of stuff, so it's uh, it's heavy. Lots of texture. Ooh. What am I gonna do with this? Well, just a little bit to the left. All the way to the right. Let's go somewhere there. And we'll hear them and uh, we'll, we'll listen to them together right now. Man, that's a lot of doubles. It's just uh, really heavy. So you have to make some hard decisions here. That's all right. Let's uh, listen to just these tracks by themselves, just, just the keys by themselves. All right, let's see what they sound um, like with the entire mix. And I'm gonna move these over here in the order that I usually listen to them in. Okay, drums. So they need a little bit of balancing right now um, with the entire mix, but let's look at some some quick things that we can do because we don't really need a lot of this low end stuff that we have. And I do not want to go one by one addressing each one because I'm going to spend a lot of time doing that. And uh, I guess I could, but let's just do some bus processing and we'll go from there. See what happens. To do a high pass real quick I'm gonna put up the volume so we can hear it better yeah so not a lot I mean at 117 and then at 16k um, let's just do a general EQ Uh, let's hear with the entire mix. And a lot of the uh, top end uh, pads are sticking out.
Sorry, just double checking the kick. And there's quite a bit going on with the uh, pads, but I'm not going to mess with them just now. Um, I'm going to go back to them. I do need more pads on the left side. I feel like I got too much on the right. Alright, I'll leave that um, on this video just a quick recap. Um, we looked at the keys, uh, organized them into a group, put them in a bus, um, did a little VCA just for overall control, but really I haven't um, really done much other than a little bit of EQ on the bus. I mean a high pass and a low pass, It's it, there's a lot of tracks there, so I have to be patient and I'm kind of just... We're not even into the into the thick of it just yet. Um, just kind of trying to get a taste for it, and it it takes a little bit, especially when you're doing these videos. Otherwise, I would have gone through it, and I've already uh, I would have made a mix of everything and stuff like that. But um, I just want to share how important it is to go, you know, through everything. Just take your time. Obviously, if you're working for somebody and you know you're trying to do it faster, you 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 can't take your time too much, but. Um, this is just some friendly videos that, you know, we like to share. And um, and I really hope you're getting something out of this. Um, I'm learning a lot even from doing this. So, hey, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day or night.